Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're gonna to be checking out a beer that is one of my personal favorite yearly releases. You probably have no idea what that is. So, like I said, we're gonna be checking out one of my favorite yearly releases, and well, I couldn't get it in bottle form this year, but luckily I was able to find it on draft. I got a can of it. Let's go ahead and fix that in post. That'll do. So we're gonna check out Fremont's 2021 release, Bee Bomb Cinnamon and Coconut. Yeah. This beer comes in at a 13% ABV. A 50 IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 4.57. Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Winter Ale with Cinnamon and Coconut. This year's release of Bee Bomb is aged in 8 to 12 year old American Oak Bourbon Barrels with a blend of 9, 12, and 24 month old barrel aged winter ale. This special edition adds cinnamon and toasted coconuts to complement the oak, cocoa, leather, toffee, and dark coffee notes achieved from this extended barrel aging and barrel blending. Each barrel contributes a different note, and combining each barrel to create a coherent tone is a distinct art and true pleasure. Please do enjoy this unique barrel-aged ale today, but know that coconut cinnamon bivon will age gracefully for years to come. Don't be afraid to be abominable. All right, so let's take, oh my God, that is so good looking. All right, let's take a look at this thing. It is black. I mean, that is just black. And the head is just this dark caramel toffee, more like a toffee color, uh, super fine. Oh, it's just, oh, bourbon. That's what you get on the nose. Actually, a hint of cinnamon. So that's in there too. That's very pleasant. I don't get too much coconut if any the cinnamon and the bourbon the bourbon's the biggest nose you get but it's not like overly power it's very smooth let's try this mm. oh. oh oh man oh man oh this is this is actually probably too cold for how it should be served, but even with it being that way, the amount of flavor that is coming out. Oh man, even the, oh, the back end is so delicious. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm blown away, honestly. Now, usually every year they just come out with a either a cinnamon or a coconut one. And this year they combined the two. And majority of the time, people say the coconut one is the best one. And this one is still fantastic. I was gonna be a little bit of afraid with the cinnamon in there, but it really complements this middle section and the aroma. And what you get up front is bourbon and coconut and the coconut really cuts and smooths that bourbon out now this is a winter ale it is not a stout so you're not going to be getting a lot of super chocolatey notes the roasting notes you're getting is probably from the barrel aging and obviously there are roasted malts in this beer that's another really cool thing is in the description they actually give you uh the malt used uh, aroma, characteristics, uh, hot profiling, flavors. So really, really cool in the description as well. Back to the flavor. Now the middle is where I taste the most cinnamon and it usually lingers right around there. But it's not overpowering. It's just letting you know there's just this hint of spice to it. Um, and if there's just enough, you would know it's cinnamon. I, I'm not gonna say clove or nutmeg, you know, like what you think a winter ale has. No, this is just a nice multi thick body winter ale, and then there's some cinnamon in it. And then the back end is fantastic. It is coconut. Like the lingering flavor is coconut, and it's a good coconut. It's smooth, it's creamy. It's not at all artificial tasting. It is not too sweet. 
Now a bottle of this ranges from where we are at about 22 to $27 a bottle. Totally worth it. You get the big bomber, the 22 ounces, 13% um, beer. So you're getting a quality beer in this, trust me. Um, but I believe, unfortunately, they only distribute to the Pacific Northwest. Too bad for you guys. But you can every now and then find it on a couple of uh, online stores. There's a couple in California that do it. Tavor might end up getting one or two of them. I know they've had other variants of B-Bomb or the Fremont Barrel Age series. But my suggestion is if someone is willing to trade for one of these, totally worth it. Now, unfortunately, it's probably too cold in my garage and would take too long for me to warm this beer up properly to get it to the right temperature but I can taste just everything is so smooth in this. I'm betting it's just going to be creamier and a hint sweeter. And it's a perfect balance right now of sweetness to flavor to bourbon. And the bourbon flavor is so smooth. Like everything on this is just hits the mark. Bullseye. Mm. I so want to get more of this. Oh, so good. So. Fremont's 2021 Bee Bomb Cinnamon Coconut Winter Ale. Definitely pick one of these up. It is a fantastic beer. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys, if you like this video, remember hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. Links will be at the very bottom of the description. While you're down there, let me know, you know, have you ever had Fremont's Bee Bomb, the coconut, the cinnamon, the coconut, the cinnamon coconut one? Let me know, what's your favorite barrel-aged winter beer? What's your favorite Fremont barrel-aged series? They have quite a few of them. See you guys.